Previously on the Fear Factor Championship. Get those! Go out there! Go out there! 13 winners returned to compete in two extreme stunts. Oh. My key is stuck! It's not coming out! Four of them took the walk of shame. Did my best. Tonight, the remaining nine battle it out in the final three stunts. <laughs> But only one will take home $100,000 and walk away the ultimate Fear Factor champion. Nine winners. Three stunts. One champion. Fear Factor. I'm Joe Rogan. This is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. Having the title of being the champion or the winner is probably more important to me than the money. I mean, everyone needs $100,000. It's just a matter of how bad you want it. I think I was so incredibly freaked out when I did Fear Factor. And the fact that I'm going through this experience again and I'm not freaking at every turn shows me that I did learn something the first time. I feel very good about having at least made it to the second stunt. I'm actually not surprised at the level of competition because these girls have all done some great things to get here and obviously they're very competitive. I'm very competitive and I love the thrill of victory. None of those ladies even scare me at all. I don't know if they have what it takes. I just uh, have this funny feeling that I'm going to be the one to walk away from this show with a hundred grand. People have always underestimated me. They see me, they see how tiny I am, they see how quiet I am, but I always seem to prove people wrong and people can underestimate me and think whatever they want. I know what I can do. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi, Joe. How's everybody feeling? Feeling good. good. Feeling good? <laughs> feeling good. All right. Nervous, but good. A little nervous? That's always good. <laughs> Well, the five of you were able to advance to this round because we had a tie on the Hanging Harrier jet. But I can guarantee you that tonight, at least three of you are going home. Ready to see the stunt that determines who makes it to the finals? Yeah! All right. Well, you're each going to go for a swim in this tank here. Seems pretty easy, right? Well, not if I toss in these. Oh my god! Those are alligators, ladies. Real live alligators. At the bottom of this tank are three poles. When I say go, you will slide into the tank carefully. Head to the bottom and retrieve the poles one at a time and place them on a rack. If you are too afraid to attempt the stunt, you'll be eliminated. If you fail to complete the stunt, you're gone. But the two ladies that complete the stunt the fastest will move on to the final round and be that much closer to $100,000. <laughs> We've already randomly selected who gets to go first. And Nicole, you are lucky number one. You really gonna do this, Nicole? I'm doing this. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm not happy, but I'm doing it. <laughs> God, look at their claws. Those nails. Yeah. That one's looking down. That, He's curious as that one is a below. big one too. He's huge. This ain't the pool with the Y, girl. Be careful. <laughs> How you doing, girl? I'm sitting here freaking out. I'm freaking out. <laughs> oh! Good luck, Nicole. Good luck, for real. I know. Stay calm. Be, be safe. <laughs> Just be safe. Now remember, Nicole, you have to go down there one at a time. Pick up these three poles and put them on the rack. Okay. You ready to do this? I am. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Come on, Nicole. Remember, this is a race. Come on, Nicole. Come on, Nicole, let's go, this is a race! You just need one more?
careful, oh be careful, be careful, be careful. Nicole, come on down. It's over, girl. It's over. Oh. Was that scary, Woo. girl? 102 is the time. Here you go. Good you got job, some slippers Nicole. for you. You alright? Yeah. Uh, you freaking out? <laughs> Hold on. You gotta put this on the outside. I'm just happy I'm standing out here now. You're shaking like a leaf. You alright? It was scary. That was really scary. Yeah. Talk me through it. The first pole was pretty easy to get. The third one was the one I was worried about because it had an alligator sitting on top of it. It's yeah. over, Shorty. I know. You did a good job. It's over. Congratulations. One minute, two seconds was your time. And uh, you can relax, because it's over for you right now. Give me that three days. Lauren, come on up. Shoot. How you doing, Lauren? I'm definitely not excited about doing this. I'm nervous, but Are I'm nervous? not excited. Would you rather do the stunt that you won when you had to go into the Trapped Under the Ice episode? It was really scary, and it was really cold, but um, there was no animal factor involved in that one. Are you worried about the animal factor? Yeah, of course. Okay, go ahead, get in your bathing suit. Is this the same bathing suit? Yeah, it is. You won the, the 50,000? same 000? one that I won in, yeah. Well, there you go. It's got to be a little lucky. We'll see. I guess. All right, you ready? Yeah, I guess. Okay, okay. come on up. Go, Lauren. Good luck. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go! Whoa. She's got one. Here she goes with number two. Come on, Laura, let's go! Oh, the gator's right on it. Yeah. Time! 29 seconds! Wow. Way to go, Lauren! Come on over here! Good girl! Good job, Lauren. <sighs> 29 seconds. Awesome. You did great. Okay. Phenomenal. I gotta wait and You're see right? what they do. Put your hands out. You all right? Not too much shaking. You're all right. I'm done. It's You're over. Done. It's over. <laughs> no, it's over. Yeah. All right. It looked like a couple times they touched you. Yeah, they did. What does it feel like? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I was like, ah! But I was so focused on just getting the poles that I knew it touched me, but I was like, just kept going because if I, if I sat there and thought about it, I would have freaked out. Just I the knew. idea of something yeah. creepy. <laughs> All right. Well, 29 seconds is a phenomenal time. Mm -hmm. You did a great job. Thank you. And uh, let's hope that holds up. Good I job. really hope so. Thank I you. I hope so, too. Nicole, you're now on the bubble. If Leslie beats your time, you're I going know. home. I know. You know that, right? I know. Okay. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm doing good. You're doing all right? Yeah. Now, you know the time that you have to beat? You beat 102, and Nicole's going home. But, of course, you have Jessica and Patricia going on after you, and they can beat whatever time you come up mm -hmm. with. You ready to do this? Yeah. Okay, get in your bathing suit. It's crazy. Just crazy? Yeah. As I was sitting on the edge of the tank, I made eye contact with one of them. My face must have been priceless. It was sheer terror. That guy's big. Yeah, he's pretty big. All right, Leslie. Yeah, let's do this. Got a prediction for me? How fast are you going to do it? Dude, I'm doing it less than 29 seconds. I'm not going home. All right, you ready to do this? Keep an eye on the alligators at all times. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. One, she got one. Oh, God. 
Oh, she, they're stirring around with her. Oh, oh my gosh. Did she just... Good girl. Wow. Shorty. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right. Bye, guys. Say goodbye to the alligators. Bye. Bye. No you got to say you pack them. It's Very okay. Very nice meeting you. Nice Congratulations meeting you on getting this far. You did a great job. Thank you. Take it easy. Bye. Bye. I'm pissed off that I didn't make it to the end. I know that I did well, but I'm upset that I could have done better. She's so nice. So sweet. <laughs> but uh, only one can win. Jessica. Joe. How you doing? I hate to do it. This is where I wimp out. Oh, come on. Stop no. that nonsense. <laughs> no, you know, know what? I am. I'm wimping out. My limbs are worth more than 100 grand. How can you be a wimp? You're a fear factor champion. I know. You know what? I have a baby. I'm a mom. I have responsibilities. Oh. And your competitive spirit is gone now. Oh, it pretty much <laughs> was gone when those alligators jumped in the tank. All right. Well, Jessica, see you later, wimp. Take it easy. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Good luck, you guys. Later. Bye, wimp. Jessica. I feel like I won my first episode and that was enough. I proved enough to myself and to the people that are watching that I didn't have to prove it again. Patricia. Here we go. It's down to you. I know. This is it. Lauren is on the bubble now. Lauren's time of 29 seconds. If you beat that, Lauren goes home. Since Jessica quit, Leslie is automatically in. Now, Patricia, it's up to you. You get in there right now, you beat 29 seconds, Lauren goes home. You ready to do it? Yes. Okay, let's get in your swimsuit. You got it, girl. Come on, girl. Come on! Any words of advice, Lauren, since you're on the bubble? No. No? Oh, no. Any words of bad advice? No. No, nothing? You're just praying she screws up? I'm not praying that she screws up. I'm just praying that my time's faster than hers. All right, Patricia, remember the time to beat is 29 seconds. Are you ready to do this? Okay. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, go! She's got one. That's two. Time! 18 seconds. Oh, yeah, girl! 18 yes. seconds. Very sorry. It's okay. You did a great job. Sorry. Got to send you packing. Good luck. Thanks, Good luck, Patricia. Take it easy. I'm not disappointed in myself at all. It took a lot of courage for me to get in the tank. And um, I'm really surprised that I was able to do it. <laughs> Look at you. The fastest time on this. Yeah. Look at you. You're a monster. You are a monster. Congratulations. We're down to two women, and you are the two. You will move into the finals, and you are both that much closer to $100,000 and yeah. the ultimate Fear Factor Championship. Congratulations. So uh, let's move on. Let's see what's in store for you tomorrow. Good job. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Going into the second stunt here, I think the competition has kind of gotten down to like real players now. I mean, you know, they may not look like much, but these guys are ready to go. I definitely think my biggest competition is going to be Al. You know, Al always goes off into his own little world. You don't know what he's thinking. I definitely think I'm going to overtake him in the end. Al is definitely my biggest competition. He's just, he's intense. He's driven. I want to win, and that's all. Coming in tonight, I'm shocked that these three other guys are my opponents. I really thought the bigger guys would be sticking around with me. But all these guys have eaten something before, and I never had to eat anything. I'm just hoping it's something I don't have to eat. What's up, guys? Joe. What's up? Right. How How's everybody doing today? Very good. Better now. <laughs> well, you all did a great job in the inverted hang, narrowing the field down to four. 
And after today's stunt, two of you will be that much closer to $100,000. And your first stunt, you all got a good ab workout. Well, today, you're going to use your stomach in a totally different way. You're each going to lie down on this turntable, and I'm going to spin you as fast as I can. Whatever color your arrow winds up on will determine what table you will have to run to and eat the three items on the table. The yellow table will be pig rectum, night crawlers, and habanero peppers. The black table, shiakara, which is fermented squid guts, cow brains, and Madagascar hissing cockroaches. The red table, coagulated blood balls wrapped in pig's intestines, beetles, and our old friend, the buffalo testicle. The two contestants that eat the three items the fastest will move on to the final stunt and be that much closer to $100,000. The other two will be eliminated. We've randomly selected who gets to go first, and John, you are lucky number one. John, how are you with eating things? Oh. You have a taste for brains or roaches or yeah. testicles or anything along those lines? This is going to be tough. You gonna let be these tough. guys beat you because you have a weak stomach? No, are you kidding me? No. Are you ready? I love testicles. Do you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Can't wait. All right, come on up. Lie down. Ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Oh, good color. Good color. I'm high. Okay, is it gonna be the roaches, the rectum, or the testicle? I'd like to buy a valve. <laughs> Red. Go. Edge of the red table. Red. Buffalo testicles, coagulated blood balls, and beetles. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Head to the red table. <coughs> mm. Yummy. There you go. You can eat them in any order you want. The buffalo testicle, always a favorite. Mm. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Are you really? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Nice. Mm. Mm. Come on, John. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you might want to use that to help the other one down. 145 in. All right, the blood balls are down. Okay, he's good. He's done with the buffalo testicles. He's moving on to the beetles. <clears throat> These beetles secrete a certain <clears throat> fluid <clears throat> to protect themselves. Halfway through. Come on, John. All right, he's got them all in his mouth. You just got to <laughs> chew it and get it down. You let me know as soon as you're done. Does that help? Look at you. <clears throat> Use the testicle juice to help it down. Done? Open wide. Good. 335. Good job, John. Excellence. How do you feel about that? I feel good. I want to do it again if you guys don't mind. Maybe after you're done. <laughs> you guys have seen him do that. Uh, is there any table you would prefer to land on? Only because I have experience? experience with the brain. I'd have to say the brain. Jeff? Psh, uh, they all suck. <laughs> <laughs> Al, you're hoping for... Uh, you're hoping for buying? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter? No. Are you ready? Yeah. Come on up. The time to beat is three minutes and 35 seconds. You ready? Sure. All right, Al, here we go. All right, what's it going to be? Brains, worms, or beetles? It is black. 
brains, shiakara, which is fermented squid guts, and Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Come on, man. This is a race. Let's go. Seconds you waste walking could toss you $100,000. Hello, my old friend. Come on, bro. It's a race. I never thought I'd have this back in my mouth again. You can eat him in any order. You just want to just down him. Shh. Shh. No, don't tell me. Shh. I'm the host. Come on, dude. Eat. Okay. It's two great tastes. It tastes great together. Two minutes in. Come on, man. Two minutes in? You don't have to worry about beating John. You have to worry about the two guys going behind you. Remember, two guys are going home today. <clears throat> 345. Come on, Al. Two people. All right, all right. You're going to get eliminated here. You know that, right? What, what, what is that? Don't ask. Don't you ask? You do weird things when you're eating squid and brains, all right? <laughs> Hello. <sighs> Oh, nice. Come here. Just chew it up really good. Ugh. Come on, wanna go? Wanna go? Chew it good. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Once I got the cockroach in my mouth and chewed it around, I wiped my mouth and noticed I was bleeding, and you know, I guess I cut my lip on his shell at some point. <laughs> You've gotten through the brain. You've gotten through the, the fermented squid guts. Chew this roach down and it's over. It's good time. Seven minutes and 44 seconds. <clears throat> good, respectable time. Thanks, man. How you doing, Al? Everything was good up to the bugs. It's like eating shells. You know? Yeah, they have They're a lot like of shells. They're like hard little peanut shells and you can't oh. swallow it. Well, you got through it. Let's see if your time holds up. See how Larry does. How you feeling, Larry? Pretty good. You yeah. beat seven minutes and 44 seconds, Al goes home. You ready? Yep. Okay, hop on. All right, here we go. All right, what's it gonna be? The cockroach, the pig bun, or the buffalo twin? Black again. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Shiakara, which is squid guts, brains, and Madagascar hissing cockroaches. All you have to do is get it in under seven minutes and 44 seconds, and Al's gone. John had the blistering time of three minutes and 35 seconds. You gotta be feeling pretty comfortable right now. I don't trust Larry. Uh. Very good. You're at 145, the Shiakara is gone, the brains are gone. He's got one roach in his mouth. Wow, he's got two roaches in his mouth. Al, you got soft, dude. You won that $50,000 and you got soft. Look at this. This is a guy that wants $100,000. Doesn't look good for you. No. Nah. Two minutes and 53 seconds. Al's gone and John is on the bubble. Congratulations. Thank you. you were in the finals. Al, sorry, buddy. The game ends here for you. Nice meeting you, man. Take it easy. Later. This isn't my game. I just went for it and did it. I mean, by no means am I content with it and think I did a good job. I'm still pissed I lost. That is what happens when you get cocky and you take your mind off the game. And this is no joke. This is $100,000. Obviously, you two guys are in it to win it. Jeff, how about you? You ready to do this? I want it. The time to beat is three minutes and 35 seconds. You beat that, John goes home, it's you and Larry in the finals. Hop on up, my man. Yellow.
Three minutes and 35 seconds for pig rectum, earthworms, and habanero peppers. In three, two, one, go. He's got six earthworms in his mouth right now. Now he's working on the pig rectum. I saw a guy squeeze it once. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, man. One minute in. Come on, bro. You can do this. What about him now? Come on, Jeff. You can do it. OK. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Jeff. Power it down. Some. Leave no doubt. Oh, there you go. Nice. Come on, man. You can do oh. it. <laughs> oh my, you just wolfed down two of the hottest peppers in the world. Fifteen seconds, come on. Time! That's good, he's done. <laughs> Jeff. You all right, you got the hiccups? Yeah. <laughs> you proved once again that you are a clutch performer. Ow! <laughs> You all right? No, it's hot! Well, look, aren't you happy, though? Doesn't it help? No! To know that you're making it to the finals? Oh. No! No? Holy hell! <laughs> Jeff, congratulations, you're in. Oh, fuck! Good job. Oh. John, I'm sorry, buddy. <sighs> sorry, Gave a good man. effort. Had sorry a good it didn't work out. I'm glad you had a good time. Take care, so. See you later. Take care. Kick his ass. <laughs> good job, Take man. it easy, buddy. I wanted to win the money, help out mom a little bit. Uh, but, you know, gets off to sit in that cubicle, work a little bit harder, and make some money the old fashioned way. Jeff, Jeff, come on. No! I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Look at it this way. You're moving into the finals. Good job. Congratulations. And you're both that much closer to $100,000. Now, let's get out of here and get Jeff a glass of water. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> I just want to muster up the courage to do this stunt. I know since it's the final one, it's going to be something absolutely insane. So I just want to have the faith to believe that I can do it. I think the female competitors and the male competitors both have an even matchup, so I'm sure it's going to be a pretty good competition today. Now, I'm not bragging or anything, but pretty much every stunt we've done, I've got the better times. So I think I'm going to take the money home. I'm going to play all the head games I can. You know, we're down to the wire. This is it. I'm going to scream and yell and do whatever I have to do to assure my place as the big winner. All right, well, here we are, the final four, the winners amongst winners. You are all worthy of being Fear Factor champions. Unfortunately, today, only one of you is going to win $100,000. You ready to find out what your final stunt is? Yes. yes. All right. Ready. Well, here we go. Uh, what is this? Ready to find out what your final stunt is? Yes. yes. All right, well, here we go. Oh, what is this? Oh. <laughs> you will each start out on top of this tanker as it barrels down this canyon road. Once the truck reaches speed, a horn will sound, and you will mm -hmm. climb down inside and make your way to the rocking, sloshing water to the front where well, you will unlatch a key. Once you have the key, you will get back on top and head to the front of the tanker where you insert the key and sound the horn. The person who does this the fastest today will win $100,000 and become the ultimate Fear Factor champion.
We have randomly selected who gets to go first. And Larry, oh, you are lucky God. number one. How you feeling, buddy? You ready? Come with me. Let's go. Give me a prediction. How fast do you think you're going to be able to do this? Um, I'm going to do it in under a minute. Under a minute? Yeah. All the way to the bag, all the way to the top, and under a minute. Well, if you can do that, that might be enough. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get out on top of an oil tanker going 40 miles an hour and get across the top and honk a horn. I must have lost my mind. And that's if I don't fall. <laughs> well, you know you're going first, and you know you're setting the bar. Now set it high. If you can do it in under a minute, that'll be a fantastic time. Let's yeah. hope that's enough. Okay. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. All right, let's get your harness. Good luck, bro. Ready. I think Larry's very confident. He's been very reliant and believed that he could do just about anything anyone else can do. But in these stunts, he hasn't had to go first. And oh. I think just, I just think the pressure is just too much. I don't know. I'm kind of down. I drew number one because you just never know how it's going to go. You can set the standard or everybody can follow your lead and use whatever techniques you do. God, that was so, this is so crazy. One minute, 26 seconds was your time. Okay. How was it? I could not get the key off. It was really? so hard to get the key off. My downfall, I fell in the tank. Every time I grabbed a piece, another wave would hit me and it just kept throwing me off. And then when I finally got it, I rode the wave back to the ladder. Still, considering all that trouble, a minute and 26 is very respectable okay, and uh, we'll, we'll hope uh, that it holds up. Okay. Good job. Thank you. And uh, let's get you dried off. Patricia, yes. are you ready? I'm ready. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Larry! What's up? What was that? It was hell. It was unbelievable. Was that water really so was. cold? You said it was mind numbing? It was like, it was just like in shock when you first got in the water, but there's no strategy. You're like a rag doll, because I mean, you're just like slinging everywhere, and it's just like crazy. <sighs> mm. All right, now, a minute and 26 seconds, you saw Larry do it. How fast do you think you're going to be able to do it? Do it my best I can. I'm just going to give it all I can. It's up to God what happens from here on out. Dude, she's so tiny. I think she's going to get rocked That's in that said. band. She's going to get rocked. She's going to get rocked. All right, here we go. Remember, the time to beat is 1 minute and 26 seconds. Oh if she God. beats that, you go home, my man. Yeah.
are so lucky. Yeah. So lucky. One minute and 33 seconds. I'm sorry. Oh, what was the matter? You just I couldn't, couldn't. I couldn't figure out how the key went in. Once I got to the front of the truck, I grabbed the podium and I tried to stick the key in, but I think I had the wrong angle. So I kept flipping it. Probably spent a little too much time fumbling with the key and that could have cost me it. You did a great job. Thanks, it was man. great meeting you. Thanks. Take it easy. All right, bye. Bye. Good job, girl. What's up, big guy? Two. How you feeling? I'm gonna do it. Last already, chance, last chance. I you've already proved that you're clutch in the water stunts when you went through the tunnel. You, know, you, you pulled that off in spectacular fashion. And you also proved you're a clutch player when you went across the beam in the bike. This is it. You have a prediction for us? My prediction is I hope I win. All right, good luck to you. I'm really disappointed. I mean, I did a great job, but every stunt I pretty much dominated. And this one, that one little key just kind of threw me off. I think I would have been a lot different if I had gone last. Got this, Leslie. Nobody can take this from you. Mom and Dad raised me to be stronger than this. I didn't come all this way to walk away a loser. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Where'd Larry go? He went home. Oh. Don't be mad if I send you back in. I won't be. I won't be. Do good. Face your destiny. I'm ready. Let's do Come this. On. This is it, bro. She's amped, huh? She's pretty amped. She better be. 59 seconds is a very, very tough score to beat. It's a good time. It's a very good time. She looks either amped or disturbed. She's like very she's, amped. She's into it. She's, yeah, she's in the zone. Oh! What are you thinking, Jeff, right now? He's a loser! $100,000 stunt! This is it! One of you is walking away with it right now! Here we go.
Jeff, that is it. Once again, you got through the vertical hang. You ate the disgusting food. You pulled this off the fastest. Congratulations, you are the Fear Factor champ.